Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to show you my July favorites, my July faves, and I absolutely love these videos because I feel like you're my girlfriends and I can just kind of kick back and share with you the products, the makeup, the skincare, the supplements that I absolutely love. These are the things that I'm using and enjoying this July and many of them I've been using and enjoying for much longer than that. Now, first I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite beauty devices ever, and this is the Nera Skincare Laser. And this is FDA cleared and scientifically proven to actually reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And it is FDA cleared specifically for the wrinkles around your eyes. And I did one video before Nera even knew who I was because I let my Nera sit in the basement for like a year thinking, there's no way this thing can work. Well, then I saw another YouTuber that had great results with it. And so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And so I did a 30 day results video on my eye wrinkles and it was amazing because I call these my Marlboro Mans, and you can hardly see them now. I mean, you can, but they're greatly reduced from using the Nera. So I did that for 30 days, and I posted that video, and then the Nera folks saw that video, and they loved my results, as I did too, and they said, would you like to do a second video? And of course, I was actually already going to do it, because in addition to reducing the wrinkles around my eyes, I noticed that I was starting to get a lot of wrinkles down here in the marionette line area, the kind of the jowl area of my face. And so I did a second 30 day results video on the eye wrinkles and also these wrinkles. And let me show you the results because I was blown away by them. Here I am in February 2nd of this year. There I am in April. That's two months results, 60 days results. And as you can see in the top arrows there, the top red arrows, I have quite a few fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes. And then in the after picture, 60 days later, the eye wrinkles are greatly reduced. And then look at the wrinkles in the before picture down around my jowl area. I have myriad, myriad wrinkles down there. And then 60 days later, I think the wrinkles are greatly reduced. And I was so happy about that because in that first picture, that before picture, when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, it's starting. I'm starting to get the huge amount of wrinkles that a lot of older ladies get from here to here on their face. And I even realized from doing this video that the crow's feet wrinkles, little by little, they get longer and longer, and then they kind of join with the wrinkles down here. And so you don't end up with wrinkles just here and here. You have a huge long set of long wrinkles all along your face. And you can see that my under eye wrinkles are greatly reduced as are the wrinkles in the jowl area. I am so happy with this little guy. And what makes me most happy about it is I used to think there's no way home devices can work. Of course, I love my new face and I think it really does work in terms of microcurrent. And this is totally different from microcurrent. Microcurrent and new face and bear, things like that. I use the Foreo bear, I use the new face. And basically what that does is it slightly tones your skin. If you've got a little bit of sagging, that's the direction you should go in is microcurrent. But if you're like me and you're starting to be concerned with lines here and down here, then this may be something you would like to consider. And I have a discount code below the video so you can get a nice little discount on the little Nera. And I have to admit that this has worked better than any cream, lotion, serum, that kind of thing I've used. And I really thank the Nera people for partnering with me to explain this to you. And I'll also link a video, actually the 30 and the 60 day results videos, I will link those below. And up here or here, there should also be a video that you can click on so you can watch that after this video. Okay, let's get into the rest of my July faves. And the first area I'm going into is supplements, especially one, the first one, which is a skincare supplement, which I really think has been helping my skin. And another of the supplements is helping my bowels like totally improve. It is great. And a third supplement is really helping me sleep, which is a problem I've had for a long time. And so I'm very excited to share that with you. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this because I have a lot to cover. Grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, glass of wine, whatever you prefer. Okay, the first supplement I have, my first July fave, is this Collagen Peptides. And it is the science research brand and 
Dr. Brad Stanfield, who I really trust. He's an MD and an expert at looking at the research behind everything. He is firmly convinced that taking collagen by mouth, which you take one scoop in the morning in a hot or cold liquid, I take this around lunch in actually in water and Metamucil, which I'll tell you about in just a few minutes. I kill two birds with one stone. But basically he says there is convincing research that when we take collagen orally, it ends up, those little collagen peptides end up in our skin. And he thinks this is a great brand if you really want the collagen to go into your skin and that collagen decreases as we age and taking collagen by mouth. I have been doing it for about three years now and I really think my skin is showing beautiful benefits and I really highly credit the collagen peptides. Okay, the next supplement that I truly love and I took this for a while a few years ago. A doctor recommended it because I tend to have IBS issues, especially with regard to diarrhea. I hate to say it. I, I heard I was with some women the other day and we all were joking about the fact that now that we're getting older, poop is one of our favorite topics or our most popular topics, I would say. And dealing with poop, either half of my friends could not go number one at all, shall we say, and the other half of my friends, including me, tend to suffer from diarrhea. But I stopped using this for maybe a year and I don't know why I did because I was starting to have problems with diarrhea again. And I remember that the doctor said this, that we all need to pump up our fiber. And I absolutely love this. And when I take this and it is sugar-free and it is strictly psyllium husk, interestingly enough, that Dr. Brad Stanfield says, just in terms of longevity, just to live longer and healthier, we all need psyllium husk and that that is scientifically proven that we do need psyllium husk. If you have any kind of IBS issues, issues going number one, I highly recommend this. And again, what you do here is you just put two teaspoons in a glass of water and you drink it right away. And I was going to show you me drinking this on camera. And so I went ahead and actually I mixed my collagen scoop and my Metamucil two teaspoons in a glass of water and I let it sit there while I was getting ready to make the video and then I realized you should never let it sit there because it became this really, really thick substance that was hard to get down and I realized that is why it helps with our bowel issues because you drink it down in a glass of water, drink it immediately and you don't notice that it is super thick but once it gets down into your bowel system it expands and all that psyllium husk just gives you a lot of fiber and this really has cut down on my IBS and bowel issues. Love it. Now in terms of sleep, I have been very sleep challenged pretty much my whole, I would say my whole adult life, but really just probably since I was about late 40s or 50s, somewhere in there. I used to take melatonin, but I really didn't notice that it helped that much. I tried it, different brands, on and off, whatever. And then I started taking something called Simply Sleep. And I don't have the bottle anymore because I was so upset after I realized how bad it was for me that I threw it out completely. Simply Sleep is an over-the-counter sleep medication and it is like a lot of the other over-the-counter sleep meds like Tylenol PM, that kind of thing. Basically, it gives you Benadryl, and I don't know the chemical name for that. And Benadryl does help you sleep. But the problem is that studies show that it also causes a very much increased risk of Alzheimer's. And I found that out after I put Simply Sleep, I think it was in my last Monthly Faves video, and I had a couple of nurses say, Beth, that contains basically Benadryl. Do not take that. That causes Alzheimer's even after a bottle or two. And I took two bottles, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But then I heard on Dr. Brad Stanfield's channel again that he talked about timed release melatonin and that it really does a beautiful job of getting us to sleep and keeping us asleep. And how it works is that we all have a little pineal gland. I think it's at the base of our brain, not totally sure. But basically the pineal gland helps our bodies manufacture melatonin. And melatonin is the hormone that, that guides the sleep-wake cycle. Basically, it helps us sleep when the sun is down. It helps us wake up in the morning when the sun comes up. And as we get older, just like about everything else, our pineal gland kind of hardens up and it stops producing as much melatonin. And why this time-release melatonin really works so well is that it puts us to sleep immediately, but then it has a coating on it and over six hours, six or seven hours, the coating dissolves and the melatonin is gently and slowly released into your system for all that time. And I have only used this for four nights now, but I am sleeping six hours a night 
and it is absolutely wonderful. I totally recommend this, and I'll put a link below, and then you can follow the link to learn more about my products. Okay, my next group of faves are brow and lash products. The first is the Revital Lash Cosmetics Lash Growth Serum. And let me show you real quick a before and after picture from a video that I made maybe about a year ago showing the difference in my eyelashes using this Revital Lash Serum maybe for about a six month period. And there, as you can see in the before picture, you can barely see my eyelashes. Then in the after picture, which I have not enhanced in any way, I'm not wearing any makeup, look at the growth of my lashes. Absolutely phenomenal. And I will say that this is a pricey little guy and I'll link it below. It is expensive, but it truly works. And I know that because maybe for about the past six months, I went cheap and I started using a product called Grand Lash. And unfortunately, it really made my long, glorious lashes that I'd gotten with the Revital Lash get short and stubby again. So I'm back to this. I think I've only used this now two nights, but I ordered two of them, put the other one in the refrigerator just to protect it. But I'm really excited to get my glorious lashes back. And the next product I have to show you is Rapid Brow. And earlier in my channel, I did a video about Rapid Brow. And again, I kind of changed brow products for a while and my brows got skimpier and thinner, but here let me show you the before and after picture of six months using the Rapid Brow. And as you can see in the before picture, I have very skimpy, very thin brows. And then in the after picture, they've gotten really, really thick, even the tails. And I'm still a little tail challenged. I've drawn these tails on a little bit, but for the most part, I've gotten the thickness back. And I did start using this again about three months ago and I absolutely love this. Now, my next group of products, and I have a ton of them, is makeup products. And I'll go through these rather quickly because I have a lot to get through. The first is a Revolution Pro Blur Stick, and they call this a universal face primer. And I've been using this for just about the past week, and I absolutely love it. Basically, it is a blurring facial primer, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has just the slightest little bit of color. I don't know if you can see that but it also is thicker than other primers. And that's why they say it blurs because it goes over your fine lines and wrinkles, it goes over your little bits of discoloration and just blends them out rather smoothly. And I've really been feeling like my skin is looking less lined, less wrinkled, and a little more uniform all over. I believe this is a new product and I absolutely love it. Now, in terms of the foundation that I have on now, I have the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. It has SPF 15, and this is in the color 260N. And this is a very nude color. I really, really like this color. And this is a very long wearing foundation. They say 12 to 14 hours. It is a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable. And look at my skin. It absolutely nulls out the pores. It nulls out most of the fine lines and wrinkles, although I'm 64 years old, so it's not going to be a miracle or anything. But I absolutely love this. I have used this for years, but I've just picked it up again recently and been using it and loving it. And in terms of eyeshadow, I have an eyeshadow palette on, which is dirty because I really use the heck out of this thing, but I have been using and loving this for more than a month. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tear myself away from it because it's very neutral, has a little bit of a shimmer on it, not much at all. This is the Truth or Bear Morphe palette. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Look at that, very, very neutral palette. And as you can see, I've already hit pan on this one which is a beautiful little color for the lid. Just a little bit of shimmer on there, love that. I'd say it's more of a satin because I can get away with this, which is wonderful. This is the little brow color that I use. It's a matte version of, of the lid, I guess. There we go. And then I've been using this as the crease color, just a little bit of a very natural looking brown. Very, very beautiful. If you're looking for a very neutral palette of colors, that go on easily, they blend beautifully, and they last all day, I highly recommend this palette. Now, I also have some new mascara on. I've been using this for about the past two weeks, and I got it from a younger YouTuber who must have tested maybe 10 different supposedly top-selling mascaras, and this was her number one pick, and I can see why she likes it. This is called Maybelline Lash Sensational, and she's exactly right about it. I'll put a little more on here. It has a nice little brush there. And basically what it does, I don't know if you can see any more since I did just apply this before the video, but it gives you natural looking lashes, 
but really long, thick, voluminous lashes. It is not like a super, super glam look. In other words, it doesn't get real chunky all over your lashes, but look at that. It absolutely just gives you natural lashes, but very gorgeous lashes. I can see why this was her highest rated mascara out of all 10. It is a beautiful drugstore mascara. Now, in terms of blush, I have some blush on that I am totally loving. This is a gel blush from Maybelline. As I've gotten older, I do love powder blushes, but more and more, I think they make me look a little older, a little pastier and powdery, powderier, can't say it. So I started using some cream blushes and I loved them at first. They look so natural and so luminous and so gorgeous. But unfortunately, I noticed that maybe two hours later, I would see myself in the mirror and go, where is your blush? It's gone. And that's what I like about this new Maybelline foundation. And I think it's only $5 and it is amazing. And of the two, I've got it in two colors. One of them is Nude, 15 Nude, and the other is called Rose Vibrant, 20 Rose Vibrant, and I really like this one the best. And I'll put a little more on, which is dangerous, but it's just a little bit of a gel formula, and I've noticed that the gel lasts a lot longer than the cream stew. This gel formula really stays on your on your cheekbones and really just lasts a long time and it looks super natural a lot more natural than powder blushes however i'll never give up my powder blushes i know but look at that absolutely beautiful and of course i'm using my bk beauty blush brush which is fabulous and i'll put links below to bk beauty brushes and of course the angie set which i absolutely love but look how lovely that looks it does not leave any like ribbons and stripes of blush. It just gives you a beautiful, 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 beautiful natural look on your blush. I think that is one of the best drugstore blushes I've probably ever used. Absolutely love that. And in terms of bronzers, I've really been loving this very highly rated L'Oreal bronzer. This is the 24 hour fresh wear infallible bronzer in the color light medium and l'oreal makes gorgeous bronzers absolutely gorgeous and they're super reasonable in price i'm not going to put this on again i have it on already but what i like to do is i like to use my bk beauty brush and this still has a little bit on i'm sure because just before the video i put it on and i just put it on like that and then i always remember to go in with my real techniques i don't know what it's called real techniques sculpting brush and that just blends out any of the little harsh lines that you get and I usually put it along the chin line too to sculpt the chin and underneath the chin too. But I think this bronzer is absolutely beautiful. I'll show you the color. Again, this is light medium, has just a little bit of a satin to it, but it's a nice light brown, nothing strident. The thing I like about L'Oreal bronzers is you don't tend to wear chocolate bars underneath your cheekbones. They just look very nice, believable, and natural. And this is a product that I have really been loving. This is the Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. And they say that you can use this under your eyes, which I do. Oh gosh, I forgot my BK Beauty brush. Let me go get it. And because it's a banana powder, it is a yellow powder, a yellow tone powder. And what that does is it just gives us a little illumination. Look at that eye compared to the other eye. It just looks a little lighter and brighter and it also helps blend in your concealer, of course. I'll do it on the other side. Absolutely love that. And they say you can also use it down through your T-zone just to give yourself a little bit of kind of a prominence of that central area of your face there. And I just think that is so beautiful. Okay, the pressed powder that I've been using lately, and I have to admit, I've been using this kind of in the outer areas of my face. I use the Dermablend Banana in the middle of my face, and then I use this powder on the outside. I'm not really using much of a loose powder on the outside of my face anymore, but I use this as both a loose and a pressed powder, even though it is a pressed powder. And this is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And there that is, absolutely gorgeous. And I don't need any powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on, I always do. Just take a little bit of that there. And as you can see, it just kind of nulls out the shine. I'm not gonna put much on there, but I think that is beautiful. And I think this is very much like the Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed flawless finish, I can't say it, flawless finish powder. 
And that is one of my all-time favorites, but I really, really love this one too. And it is less expensive and absolutely gorgeous. Just helps null out the excess oiliness, cut down on fine lines and wrinkles. Does give you a really nice airbrush finish. Okay, one more face product that I've really been loving is this Laura Mercier. It is called Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. And it's actually a two-sided little pencil or pen, I guess. There is the dark shade right there, but I really like the light shade. And this is just a little bit of a concealer to go in these dark areas. And as you can tell, I, I left some darkness there for you to see, but I use it in the color 1N and I'll link it below. But here, I've got some darkness there and darkness there. I'll go ahead and do this. And it is almost like a peach correcting stick in that it just subtly gets rid of those black marks that you have. You can use it under your eyes too, but I particularly like it for the dark areas there. Look how that is just totally smoothed out that area. It softens any black marks. You can use it if you have little bags under your eyes. Just use a tiny little bit of it in the dark part of the bag. Don't use it on the top of the bag, but it just blends in any bags or imperfections or darkness around our eyes and makes us look just a little younger and dewier. And my last face product before I get into lips, which I love the lip products that I have on today, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And here it is. And I used it earlier. I'm not going to use it again. But basically, after you've gotten your makeup on, after you've put your powder on, you just take this and give yourself a nice spray of your face. Maybe one, two, three is what I normally do. Give it a moment to kind of dry down and then all of a sudden it just blurs out your fine lines and wrinkles. It just gives your skin an airbrush kind of flawless finish look, which is exactly what the title says. I used to use this and started using some other setting sprays, but this is really kind of my holy grail and I'm so happy that I've come back to that again. Okay, now let me get into my lip products and then I'll tell you about some fails, so stick around for that. But in terms of what I have on my lips right now, I've been wearing this and loving it a lot of July. The lip color is called 205 Barely There, and it is a, what is it, Color Sensational. I think it is Maybelline. Yes, I think it is Maybelline. Yes, it is. And so here is that color. And again, the color is called Nearly There, and it is just a beautiful little nude. And it is kind of a darker nude. I really prefer the darker nudes. I don't like the washed out nudes where I look like I'm dead. I just love that. That's an absolutely gorgeous color with a little bit of a satin. Really, really pretty there. And then in terms of a lip pencil, I have been really liking the look. Again, I know it's kind of 90s, but where you line your lips in a slightly darker pencil. And this is a great one, and it is a classic one that people love. This is the MAC Lip Pencil in the color Spice. And as you can see, it's just a little bit of a darker brown around the outside of my lips. And it is really important if you have a small upper lip, which I do, just to go a little bit outside the upper lip line. But basically what it does is it helps your whole upper lip look larger. And I had a viewer tell me that. Her name is Nellie. She's from Australia. And she really knows her stuff. And she recommended that, that I go higher in terms of my lip pencil on my upper lip line and also not go so deeply down into the cupid's bow. Love that. And then in terms of a gloss over that, I have gotten these three NYX Butter Clauses and they come in a set and I think it's $10 for all three. They are such a good deal. And these last forever. So if you get this, you'll definitely have this probably for a couple of years. But the color I used is a color called Madeline, Madeline. And so I'll, I'll go ahead and put a little more of that on, but it is just beautiful and it helps emphasize that look of the darker line on the outside with a little bit of a pop and a puff on your inner lips. And one of the colors that also comes in this trio is called Creme Brulee, which is a total classic NYX color. That is a great one that everyone needs. And then there's kind of a peachy one that I have not tried yet called Angel Food Cake. I think that looks really pretty though for when you want a more pink look to your lips. But I absolutely love these NYX Butter Glosses. They are classics and they rival high-end lip glosses for a fraction of the cost. Absolutely love those. Okay, real quick, I'm going to show you some fails. The first was this Revolution Makeup Matte Fix Oil Control Spray. 
I don't know why they call this a matte oil control spray because I put this on, it hardly ever dried down and I looked like an oil slick, absolutely terrible. And here is another product that I saw a very young YouTuber use and she looks beautiful in it because this is a radiant primer. It is called the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which I thought was interesting. Perfect a four-in-one primer. And you can also supposedly use this as a foundation, but it was awful. Here it is, and you just have a little bit of a sponge top there. And then, see, I don't know if you can tell, but that is super, super, super shiny. It just looked like I had oil all over my face. It was not radiant. It, it just looked like somehow I was still 16 with oil all over my skin. Absolutely hated that. And then I tried this L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. And I should have known better because powder does not do us older ladies any favors at all. But I put this on and I had a powdery look all over my face. All of my fine lines and wrinkles were no longer fine lines and wrinkles. They were there, no doubt about it. It didn't blur anything out. It just made me look craggy and old and a little bit like the Crypt Keeper. This one is going back, I have to say. And one of the worst products that I used all month, and I only used it once because it's terrible, the Revolution Makeup Pout Balm in the color Candy. And it goes on like... Oh my gosh, something greasy. Look, it is so greasy, so thick, and it is just the ugliest color known to man. It just looked like I had white and pink, baby pink, all over my lips. I looked like I was back in the 1960s, and every time I would put my lips together and pull them apart, the pout bomb would like have strings between it. This stuff is thick and awful and a very ugly color. I would not recommend that. And if you'd like to see some of my other faves, I'm going to link a favorites video, another one. Hang around on my channel. I would love to have you. I'll link it here or here. That way you can look into some more great and not so great products. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.